business at the Greater Sudbury Airport is really taking off. The airport's operation profit increased 300 percent over the last 12 years and has seen a significant increase in job creation and passenger growth. Northern Life sat down with the Director of Business Development to talk about the success. We, we knew that to grow the airport we needed competition, we needed another airline. Um, you know, when you've got uh, a monopoly over any service, it's never good for the consumer. So at that point, um, you know, we knew that new air service is what we really needed to, to grow the commercial aviation side of things. So we went after Porter uh, aggressively and it's now becoming economical. It's not only the business traveler who, who is using our airport, it's leisure travelers because it's an affordable option versus getting in your car and, and driving to Toronto. So, and we introduced Porter, and in turn, um, Air Canada uh, brought in the Q400 aircraft, which was an improvement in service, um, and also lowered their fares uh, drastically. So I think the two are competing now, um, and it, it really has just driven driven business. 250,000, is that all competition? Is that all economic growth? I, I think we can't take all the credit for that. I think our, our uh, community is in a good place. I think we've experienced lots of, of growth uh, you know, in the mining sector and in other sectors. So I think that's definitely a big part of, if you look at the general aviation side of it and the new businesses establishing at the airport, that if you compare you know, driving, uh, let's say, to, to Toronto, you know, paying your gas, uh, maybe paying a rental vehicle, paying for a hotel, if you add up all of those costs and then look at you know, the cost of flying and also your time, you know, your, your time definitely, there's a cost associated with it. I think people are just making, you know, making the connection that, hey, you know, we need to reconsider flying. If you looked at it five years ago, it probably wasn't feasible. Um, but now, you know, you can get to, to Toronto on some days uh, return flight for, for two, close to $200, you know, tax in, which is, um, which is unbelievable. It's a great price and it's tough to compete with the, the road when you look at that. I think we still have a ways to go with educating the community and the public on, on flying and how competitive it is. So I think we, we need to do some more of that and really get uh, more people flying.